What's up, TechNumber here for Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial for installing and using Ultimate Catcher. Ultimate Catcher allows you to catch and spawn mobs Pokemon style. With a custom crafting recipe, cost for catching creatures, and more, it creates a visually appealing, balanced animal transportation feature in the game. The Ultimate plugins install a little bit differently to the usual. Head over to the Songoda page for Ultimate Catcher. Click the download button right under the project's icon on the left. Head over to the files section on your Server Pro dashboard, open the plugins folder, and then click the upload button and upload the jar file we just downloaded from Songoda. Then all we need to do is a simple server restart. The plugin requires Vault and an economy plugin of your choice. I'll be using Sane Economy. You can see what plugins you already have installed by going to the install tab under plugins. The plugin's main command is slash uc for ultimate catcher. This returns a list of the plugin's commands and usage. There are fewer overall commands as the plugin just works when you add it. Let's start with a basic demonstration. Slash uc give followed by a player's name or all, then followed by an egg type as well will give a player an egg. I'll give myself a regular, ultra and insane egg. Hovering over these in our inventory, we see the price and chances for using these items. If we right-click to throw an egg and an animal, upon hitting it, we'll have a chance of collecting it. If we miss, instead of vanishing, it'll just appear on the ground. By default, we can craft these eggs as well. Simply place an egg in a crafting table surrounded by five iron, diamonds, or emeralds to create irregular, ultra, or insane eggs. These crafting recipes can be customized or disabled entirely in the config. Speaking of, we can edit the files on the server itself or use the plugin's in-game GUI to edit the config directly from in-game. This is of course the preferred way of setting up the plugin, but we'll get into the config files in just a moment. If you do use the config files, make sure to use slash uc reload to reload the settings from the config files. Simply run slash uc settings and you'll have a complete settings window that you can customize just about everything from the plugin. Each book is a file from the config folder. Opening a book, we can choose a section, and then we're presented with a bunch of settings. Each setting can be read by hovering over an item and changed if clicked on. True or false settings toggle when interacted with, indicated by a lever. Text or string settings are indicated by a string. Once clicked on, it'll ask you to type a value in chat. List settings are indicated by a book and quill. Clicking on it will allow you to edit each item inside. An example of the last setting type is the blocked catching or spawning worlds, where we can enter world names to stop the plugin working there. Heading back and opening the egg config file, we can open an egg and then customize everything from the name to the crafting recipe requirements. Of course, placement of the items doesn't matter. While the in-game GUI is complete, you may want to use the config files instead. Locate the config in the plugin folder. In here, we have the same config files that we can edit in-game. As with the other Ultimate plugins, the settings files are incredibly well documented and easy to understand. The locales folder has a number of files inside. These lang files are just text files containing localization for the plugin. The mobs.yml file contains a list of mob entities and whether you can catch them. The display name is the name of the egg once the entity is caught. The eggs.yml file contains a list of eggs from the plugin. We can customize the name of an egg, the recipe requirements, the cost to use the item, and the chance that the item will successfully catch a mob. The config.yml file contains all the remaining settings for the plugin. To avoid reading every setting in the file, I'll just jump through a few. There are a few sections with different settings in them. The first section, main, has a few general settings for the plugin. We can toggle whether we can craft eggs in game on line 4 by changing the use catcher recipe setting. We can set a list of disabled worlds where the plugin won't work on line 14 and 18. The second section, System, has just one setting to change the language of the plugin. This corresponds to the language files in the locales folder. The third section, Law Formats, contains a list of how text will be displayed when hovering over items in game. These are mostly placeholders that will be replaced with the text from the language files. With all of that aside, it's a super simple plugin that just works by adding it. Config is barely required to use it properly. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any video suggestions, leave them in the comments below. If you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!